The Boeing 747, often dubbed the Queen of the Skies, has captivated aviation enthusiasts since its debut in the late 1960s. However, one of the most intriguing aspects of its design is the decision not to create a full double-decker version, unlike its competitor, the Airbus A380. Initially, Boeing considered a fully double-deck design, but several factors led them to retain the iconic hump shape. The primary reason was the aircraft's original purpose. It was designed to accommodate cargo operations, allowing for a nose that could open for easy loading. This design choice prioritized functionality over aesthetics, making a full upper deck unnecessary for the market demands of the time. Another significant factor was the engineering challenges and costs associated with extending the upper deck. A full double-decker would have required extensive structural modifications, including a stronger fuselage and repositioned wings, which would have dramatically increased the aircraft's weight and complexity. Boeing's focus shifted towards developing more fuel-efficient models like the 787 Dreamliner, as they recognized a growing market for smaller twin-engine aircraft rather than massive quad jets. The company believed that the future of air travel lay in point-to-point -point routes rather than the hub-and-spoke model that larger aircraft like the A380 relied on. In summary, while the idea of a fully double-decker Boeing 747 was tantalizing, practical considerations ultimately dictated the design. The original vision for the 747 was to create a versatile aircraft that could serve both passenger and cargo needs, and the engineering challenges of a full upper deck were deemed too great. As Boeing pivoted towards more efficient aircraft designs, the 747 remained a symbol of innovation, proving that sometimes less is indeed more in the world of aviation.